I just bought a new space gray MacBook Air, but it's the M1 version and not the M2. So let's get into the video and discuss why. So I mentioned in past videos, I have an older MacBook Air, which is from 2018, and it is noticeably slower for everyday tasks, office applications, and even simple web browsing compared to my Mac Mini M1. When traveling, it is the perfect size to fit in backpacks or day bags for quick day trips or even to work at a share space or local Starbucks for a change of scenery. One of my recent videos called, Should You Buy the MacBook Air M2 or the MacBook Air M1? If you haven't watched it, I will add the link to that video in the description below. I had a few comments on that video asking me more specific questions to really dial in which one should they get and if it is worth it paying extra for the M2. I love the community building in the comments, so thank you, I appreciate you, and your comments really help other viewers with their specific needs. So with that in mind, this new MacBook Air M1 is actually not for me. My nephew is graduating high school and was using a Chromebook due to his school's use of Google Classroom. He wanted to have a better laptop solution that can be used for everyday tasks and his main computer as he goes to university. My Mac Mini M1 with that chip has been tackling everyday tasks and running this YouTube channel with ease. I had no doubt the M1 chip will be perfect for his university needs, for his general courses, and he isn't majoring in graphic design, videography, or computer science that may involve coding. He's taking general courses right now, and the reason why it chose the MacBook Air M1. Yes, the M2 chip is faster and has ProRes support on board for everyday tasks. I'm theorizing here as I haven't used the M2 chip. I really feel that extra speed will not be noticeable. Yes, for video editing, exporting, or the need for graphical support, go M2. Or if you have the money and you just want the newest M2, regardless, I say go ahead, you won't go wrong. The MacBook Air M2 specifically does have a nice design change, the return of MagSafe and other noticeable upgrades. For a university student, saving the extra money for books or other expenses, I personally recommend the M1 because I really think it's a better bet. I bought the base model with 8-core CPU, 7-core GPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM with a 256 SSD hard drive. The only bottleneck that I think will be the case for this MacBook Air at the time of this purchase, really for him, who I think is going to have this MacBook Air for his whole university career, is something that I would tell him to buy or now that I think about it, I'll probably purchase it for him, is an external hard drive for him to archive his files or move files from his internal SSD. So I'm confident with the M1 for university where he's gonna be using this for all various things. And Apple is known for supporting their hardware with software updates. And the M1, I believe, will be supported for years to come. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. If you wanna watch more tech videos, click here. And to watch one of my latest videos, click here. Be safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.